when a policeman wants to win something that does not belong to him in any way under God's heaven's will, it means that he is willing to sin, lie, and kill. The problem is what he kills is of Christ, and what he fails to recognize in his life is just that, the Lord above all's plan for everyone's life. He wants more, more, more. He wants more power. He wants more fame. He wants more everything. The problem is he is not in charge of anything. He is a public servant supposed to be politically correct in a community that is sinning. And if you don't learn how to curb the sin in your community, America fails. And America fails because you're so busy wailing around your life about what you're not winning at that you miss all the problems you could be preventing because you are still sinning against America, sinning against men, and sinning against the privacy of the soul that the Lord God above only makes in every man, woman, and child. Your lie is thinking you had the right to shave someone. Your lie is thinking you had the right to sexualize someone. Your lie was thinking you had the right to abuse someone. Your lie was thinking you had the right to get away with it all. In no way have you gotten yourself out of your sin. In no way have you gotten yourself in a position to win. In no way is Christ going to allow you to win. And no matter how much you sin, you will never win. The hardest part of being an officer is the humility that's required in order to see opportunities to harvest the safety of America. The safety of America is always at risk when you're too busy on personal vendettas instead of taking care of the business of your job. The business of your job is never sexually assaulting someone. The business of your job is never aiding and abetting someone. The business of your job is not putting your hands on someone. And certainly the business of your job is not raping someone. 